My name is Jean Russell and I'm very Irish and yesterday was St. Patrick's Day and it's my one day of the, of the year to have fun. I am 90 and a half years old. In May I'll be 91. But I don't feel like it and I don't, don't think I show it either because people keep telling me I, I can't be that old. But I am. In the fifth grade, I, my, my parents gave me a clarinet. And I don't even remember now what it was for because I wasn't really interested. But when I went to school the next, after Christmas, I found out that, that the, uh, the school has a, a band director that goes around and, and, and has groups in every, every school in Seattle. And so I decided, well, I would try that and see if I liked it. And I did. I, within the year, till, uh, when I was in the sixth grade, the uh, band director would take a break and he would leave me there to, to lead the band. So I kind of came up pretty fast. I, I played my clarinet there through grade school and then in the, in the high school and all the way, way and the, the, I played a duet with a, a flute player on my graduation day and I and um, from high school and I never touched the clarinet after that so I put it away and and I tried to get my kids to play and they weren't in, interested so I finally gave my clarinet away so here I am years later in fact it's 70 years since since I've played and I, I just don't know I came into this store and was mesmerized we, do, we don't have anything like or didn't have anything like this in Seattle that you know and I was was taking lessons from the uh, concert master of the Seattle Symphony Orchestra, the first clarinetist, and uh, so I, I, I had a pretty good background to start with, but uh, now I'm just starting over really, and it's possible, and I, I would guarantee anybody that, that's even my age, could, if they could go back and, and, and start over again and play, it's, it's, to, it's the most rewarding feeling that I can I have I just love it my daughter brought me in the store here for some reason and I don't even remember what it was for but when I saw this store the, the all the things you have in it I just was I, I didn't want to go home and I ended up not going home I I, I got got the um, a clar I saw a clarinet that, on the wall and I said, ooh, I'd sure like to, to do that, to try that. And so the, the gentleman that was showing me went and got a clarinet and said, you can try this one. And we got a reed and everything and, and, I, and I put the clarinet together and all of a sudden it was just, I could play the whole scale and it, and it was just it just came back to me just so easy after 70 years and anybody can do this this is this is something that that is i recommend highly oh he is precious and he he is so knowledgeable and he uh, he he understands that i haven't played for so many years and there, that there's so, so much has happened in between. Even the type of music is so much different. So I, I, I sometimes I, I sit there in my chair and I just want to uh, listen. Just the enjoyment of it. 
and the, and the camaraderie with the other players. Something I, I had, uh, I live in an assisted living place, so I'm, uh, we are, I'm a, I am are surrounded by people who are much unhealthier than I am. So it's, it's kind of a hard situation. I mean, I, if, I was, if I was really sick or really had a problem, other than my pacemaker that keeps my heart going, I, I, I don't think I'd be doing this right now for sure. I am so surprised to find in Vancouver a store like this. I mean, I, I, I can spend hours in this store just looking at things that you have. It's just, it's so interesting. There was never a store like this in Seattle when I was there. But of course, this was 70 years ago, so it's you know, been a long time. But, uh, and, and everybody is so nice. And, and I just can't, can't say enough about how, what a great experience it is for me. I can get up every morning, I mean, Monday mornings and, and Wednesday mornings, and I'm not tired, I just have to, I wanna go, go, go. So it's really, it's, it's prolonging my life maybe too. <laughs>Gene Russell, I, I believe the benefit for having a program like this, uh, the New Horizons program here at Beacock Music is, and I know it's designed for people who have never played an instrument before, or who have just are coming back from many years, it could be a couple years, it can be as long as like Gene, 70 years before they've ever played it, to come back into it. Gene, specifically, I, I think she loves it, I don't think, I know she loves it because at the residence in which she stays right now, they do not have a lot of activities for her. In fact, she comes up to me many times and states that this is the only thing she looks forward to. Uh, for the most part. I mean, there are other things, of course, activities that they do and whatnot at the, uh, the senior center that she stays at, but it's nothing really engaging. So this, this gives her an opportunity to focus on something. And then not just this experience here, but the music. Excuse me, she'll take the music back to her residence and she'll practice at home. It gives her a goal, it gives her something to push, to strive towards too. It gives her uh, memories, it gives her really good memories of the experience that she's had. And when I look at that, and then I look at her family's response to it as well, uh, I look at her daughter who comes in and, uh, and sees her mom doing these spectacular things at 90 years, excuse me, of age. Um, it's a beautiful thing. It's absolutely beautiful. So having this program here gives her the opportunity to enrich her life, gives her the opportunity to come on in, meet a great, uh, great folks, great group of people um, who are very non-judgmental in the music world itself. Uh, we don't mind if we end up making mistakes. You don't mind if you miss notes. You don't mind if some of the rhythms are gone. But it's very cohesive. And it's one of those things where it's a safe environment. Uh, it's fun. It's very uh, laid back in a certain degree. I, I'm serious about the music, but it's an environment that these people can feel safe. And I think Jean loves it because she knows these people now. She feels comfortable when she comes in. And ultimately, she enjoys it. She loves coming in.